went through this like phase of decorating it and furnishing it. You have to do it over a month's time. You can't just get everything at once because it's just too much. Went to Glossier and I got some stuff for myself, but then we also bought some stuff to do a giveaway for you guys. They were talking about calling an ambulance and I looked and her leg was broken. saw in the clips before got ready put my makeup on filmed the last part of Sunday's video and we made pancakes so the day I just am gonna do some cleaning um, some organizing because I am trying to like get some more stuff for my apartment I went through this like phase of decorating it and furnishing it and then I feel like stuff like that just gets so expensive that you have to do it over a month's time like you can't just get everything at once because it's just too expensive you know what the worst thing is though is Saturday morning and you have a full face of makeup on and you're just gonna be hanging around the house all day So I'm probably gonna go Wash this makeup off my face and just have like fresh face for the rest of the day It's the best way to be on a Saturday unless you have somewhere to be or something to do No makeup always last night. We had so much fun Jenna and I went to the Lulu's event for fashion week and I actually filmed a video Get ready with me and I'm ready with me, New York Fashion Week. So over there, and you basically go in and shop, and you get to pick out a dress. I started getting so many DMs from you guys about you were wanting to know how you get invited to New York Fashion Week. Like, do you have to be a blogger, blah, blah, blah. So the answer is no, you do not have to be a blogger. You don't have to, you know, do anything. If you want to go, you can buy... I believe you can buy tickets to the shows. So it's such a cool experience if you love fashion and fashion week like you're just dying to go, then you can definitely buy tickets and go. So a couple of the girls were asking like what else I had planned and what kind of things I, I get invited to. I get invited to more events and parties and uh, like press previews and stuff like that. If you are a blogger who just got started blogging and you really want to like check out Fashion Week, I know you can probably email some PR agencies and just kind of, you know, send them a breakdown of what you're you're doing and what your blog looks like and just say if there's anything I can RSVP to, like I'm going to be in the city. Like don't be afraid to ask because they want people there. They want people taking pictures and posting on social media. That's the whole point. So, you know, there is no shame in, in emailing and asking if you can get an invite. Anyways, I'm going to be moving on. Um, I have something really exciting. It's kind of like um, a challenge. And I'm going to participate as well. But I partnered up with Doobly. Um, for those of you guys who don't know, Doobly is a cashback site where you can get up to 30% cashback. It's free to sign up and they have like over 12,000 or something uh, sites to choose from, online stores to choose from. So it's really cool. And I actually just signed up. I haven't started yet. I'll show you really quick what it looks like. All right, so I just logged in here. So this is what uh, the homepage of Doobly looks like. Here's your cashback overview right here. So as you can see, I've got zero because I just signed up. You can do, it'll tell you how much cash you have in all of this. You can select your payment method, enter amount whenever you want to be paid out. So you can do PayPal or you can add um, another form of payback right here. Thinking, okay, so here's what I was thinking. I was thinking we could do a challenge and next month I will check back in with you guys and whoever has saved the most cash by shopping online, there's like home, there's um, fashion, there's beauty, there's like Home Depots on there, which is where I got my gray chairs in my living room, so that's like easy cash back. Thinking whoever saves the most cash, and I asked them if we could do this, and they said yes, I will personally send a goodie bag of 
beauty products, like a giveaway, but it's kind of like a contest winning thing. So I thought that would be pretty cool. If you want to participate in that, let me know in the comments below with a um, the uh, the emoji that has the coin bag in it, and just so I can know that you're participating, and I'll write your name down in an ex Excel spreadsheet, and then we can kind of keep track whoever saves the most. So next time I come and post a video, I'll ask who has saved the most money, and whoever does, they will get a gift from me. So I thought that was pretty cool. I always like to make things fun. I always like to come up with a challenge of some sort, like a contest. So like I said, apartment decorating can be so expensive. I was trying to buy a frame the other day, and I need like three of them, and it was going to be $150. I was like, that's crazy. Just home home stuff is can be so expensive. So I thought this would be the perfect time to start using Doobly. I am starting to buy more things for the apartment, um, like rugs and accent chairs and just little accent pieces. Nothing big, but the smaller things can really add up when it comes to getting cash back. It's almost one of those things that's like, why not? Like it takes 10 seconds to sign up, so why not get cash back while you're shopping? You just have to go to Doobly before you start shopping and click the link to go to the site so it can kind of track your purchases and your spending so they know exactly um, how much you're spending and that's all you have to do, it's so easy. I'm like shop, I'm like doing my home shopping while I'm talking to you, I need to like finish talking about this and then to get started. Okay, I'm gonna go get ready for the day, I don't know, or get unready for the day, hello, I'm gonna take my makeup off. I don't know what exactly we have planned today. We were gonna take Stella to Prospect Park in Brooklyn but it's just been kind of raining all day. And then we saw in the news that they're doing a 5K all through the park. So then I was like, I don't even know if the dog area is open. I don't know. It's, we've never been before, so we don't really know how it works. So I think we're going to try to take her sometime next week. We just ended up taking her to the big green like grass park area this morning instead. It wasn't like that wet, but we'll see. Okay, I'm going to quit rambling now, and I'll see you guys in a little bit. That was my phone. Ryan. Hi. Totally broke. All right, we're on our way to the movies. Change of plans. Ryan just... Prep my phone. We need to go to the hospital for Ryan's phone. Go to the phone hospital. Yeah. We are going to the movies. We decided to see this movie called Peppermint. I'd never heard of it before and neither had Ryan, but we watched the previews and it looked so good and I love Jennifer Garner. So uh, we're gonna go see that, but we have to like run. I can't miss the previews, it's my favorite part. Uh, I'm really worried because we were walking out of our lobby and there was a woman sitting down on the couch with her husband. Everyone was like around her and she was crying. They were talking about calling an ambulance looked and her leg was broken. It looked like where her calf muscle was, it looked like it was flipped around on the other side of her leg and she had this bulging thing on the side of her, like the middle of her, oh my gosh. Poor thing. I know, I feel so bad for her. That's gotta be so scary, but I'm gonna ask our, I'm gonna ask our doorman what happened when we get back. I wouldn't be surprised if she got hit by a car because on our street, cars drive so fast, and there's not a red light, there's only a stop sign, so they just blow right through it. We literally have to sprint. <gasps> look, look! That's what we're gonna go see. Okay, we have to run, go, yeah. we have to run. Sorry I said those things. You know how much I love you, don't you? So, oh damn it, it didn't record. Oh yeah, it is. <laughs> so. Oh, psych. <laughs> thoughts on Jennifer Garner kicking ass? Yeah. That was good. She's a badass. Fuck yeah, she is. That was so cool. That was a really, it's the movie very, very good. good. Yeah. Recommend to see in theaters. It's raining. It is raining. Oh, yeah. We are gonna do our grocery shopping for the week. But we gotta stop and get an umbrella. It started to rain on us. Oh, 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 oh.
about that that dressing. Everyone in the like comments, the they were saying that this one is well, the best. Let me just update everyone on the dressing situation. Okay. We've had all of these. Right. Except for this one and this one. Yeah. But we have a vinaigrette from Cindy's Kitchen right now, yeah. which is decent. But we don't have that, so I'm gonna get that. No, they said this is the best brand. Yes, I know, but we have that. Oh, okay, bye. Okay, if you guys come to New York and you eat dairy, go to Dough Donuts. Don't get it at Whole Foods, go to the actual Dough Donuts. It's like 30 something street, but it is so good. Okay. We're leaving the grocery store. Got our groceries for the week. We only went over budget a little bit, but that's because we overstocked for cheat day and we're taking it home with us. Are you beatboxing right now? Stop. Spit me a story. What? Write me a story, bro. Move at a glacial pace. By all means, move at a glacial pace. <laughs> so thirsty. So, we confirmed. Still waiting. We talked to Patrick, who works downstairs, and he confirmed that the lady did break her leg and she was hit by a car in front of the building, which is, I'm like, it's so scary. It's very sad. Um, you guys, like, it was, it was bad. I saw it. And I feel so bad for her. I hope she's okay. Me too. She's gonna be in a lot of pain. Hopefully, she files a report and they get the camera footage from outside. Yeah. The guy kept going. It was a hit and run. And Jennifer Garner shows up for some freaking justice. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> We got the Unreal. Did we get in two of these for the team for the week, Ryan? I'm not gonna eat a bunch of those. They're gonna be so many. I eat the next two. Those and are the next two are all mine. Then we got the Unreal. I eat the whole bag of that. These are really good. And are I these will... the quinoa ones? Yeah. Okay. And then we got. And then I crush these. Yeah, these are good. Way better than Dark Bark. Then, ooh, don't know. Then we got. You got espresso? I got what I got, bro. Okay, um, the Hail Mary. I went where I went, Martin. Wait, you're, you're supposed to... Here, put it back up. <laughs> what? There we go. Am I the joke? I don't get it. Mm. No, you're good. You're, you're always the joke. Wah, wah. What have we been doing? We're looking at it. Looking at it? This has been us since we got home this morning. I mean, like an hour ago. Yeah. Lazy, lazy, lazy. So freaking tired. Are you the tiredest girl in this apartment? <laughs> She's like, please don't just think, me guys. Right now. I don't have time for your bullshit. It's been raining outside, and. We've just been so tired. We did a lot today, though. Yeah, we did a lot early. We were up at like 6.30 or 7. We had some I feel like you're really close to me. Can we had some think? adventures. You know, your complaining needs to stop. So let's just talk about our adventures. <laughs> All right, well, I know what I want to do. What? 
I want to make. It involve food? I'm gonna tell you to make cookies, and then I'm gonna put on Jack Ryan. Deal. Jack Ryan. You really? You super stoked for it? You've been wanting to watch Jack Ryan for a while, right? No, yeah? I haven't. You have? Cool. Thanks. You don't gotta explain it. I already know. Show is so attitude. I think she's just super grateful to be in our apartment. She should be. You should be grateful to have a home. Right? Not sitting on the shelf at Amazon. At Amazon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you look like a cookies and cream milkshake tortilla right now. Thank you. Guys, I just hopped out of the shower. I'm so sorry that vlogging was so uneventful today. It was the laziest Saturday. It was raining and we had work to do and blah, blah, blah. But um, tomorrow we don't have anything planned really. But um, I will check in with you guys and just kind of let you know what we're doing for the day. Then I'll probably do a little bit of vlogging on Monday so you can see more of like work stuff, more exciting stuff, more out in the city stuff because I think Jenna and I are gonna go to Glossier's showroom and I need makeup remover and a couple of other things. So I'll either see you tomorrow or I'll see you first thing Monday morning. Good night. Hey guys, so it's actually um, the next day. It is Sunday. <laughs> um, I know I last left you i think i last left you in my bathroom in this situation but i wasn't gonna vlog at all today because i literally i woke up i made coffee and i worked all day long like i sat at my desk and i worked all day and i wasn't planning on vlogging today just because like it's not vlog worthy had my headphones on um just kind of working i just showered and i was checking my dms on instagram and some sweet girl who said she's been subscribed to me since the very beginning. I think her name's Millie. I don't know if I'm saying that right. I'm so sorry if I'm not saying it right, but she was so sweet. She sent me the nicest message and she asked me if I would do a review on and like a routine type thing on the um, Isle of Paradise. Is that what it's called? Uh, a face tanner that I got. And I told you that I, I bought this one by Tan Lux, the uh, face drops. And then Isle of Paradise sent me this one with a lot of their other products. And so I tested the two out over the past couple of weeks and this one definitely left me more of an orangey color. Um, it wasn't super natural, obviously like my makeup kind of toned it down, but then for people like Ryan, for men who don't wear makeup, it was super obvious that you're wearing self tanner on your face. And then this one kind of had more green undertones, which I think is important for a good base for a tan and I could be totally wrong that's just kind of my experience um so I use this one and I actually like this one a lot more and we're going to use it now so what it says to do is to add 1 to 12 drops to your moisturizer um, mixed together and apply to skin but since at night I use Curology I normally put my um, I put this on, let it dry, and then put Curology over it, just because you're not supposed to mix any. I think Stella stole my house shoe. Oh, she's such a jerk. Tonight I am gonna mix the two, so I usually put down my face, down my neck, and onto my chest, so all of the color is kind of even. So we're gonna do that really quick. Three squirts of my, uh, does that count as a squirt? There we go, three squirts of my Curology. And then I'm gonna add, I usually do four drops um, of the Isle of Paradise. Since I'm going down my neck on my chest, I might even do like five. I feel like one drop doesn't make a huge difference. So we're gonna do one, two, three, four, five. Pretty gel, gel-like. So it's not um, super liquidy, so it is really, really easy to um, mix. This is the wrong robe. I'm literally gonna have to get naked in a second. I use my Philips thing, my Philips brush to exfoliate my skin like three or four times a week. Whenever this starts to dry, I'll probably put my eye cream on afterwards. And also, what I love about this is that it didn't stain my hands. Obviously, you have to wash your hands immediately, but I did notice that I didn't have any tan on my hands. Thanks for that little request. I wasn't gonna film today and I got that and I was like, oh, I should totally do that. that meant her message was so sweet. So, I filmed that just for you. Millie, oh, I hope I'm saying your name wrong or I'm gonna feel stupid. Probably just gonna do a half day of vlogging tomorrow because I've got um, some meetings and stuff for the rest of the day. Then we'll pick back up. So, I'll see you guys.
tomorrow. Bye. Should we hair flip? Should we hair flip? I feel weird doing it by myself. Mm. Good morning. It is Monday morning. And I left, I left off with you guys last night showing you the Isle of Paradise face tan. I'm sorry it's so dark because it's pouring rain outside and it's so dark. As you can see, it's a really good color. It matches, this is my natural tan from the summer right here. So as you can see, it's a really good match to a natural tan. And all I did was I just added five drops to my moisturizer and there you have it. Um, Ryan and I are having like a quick little Monday morning meeting. He's been like chasing me all over the house because I'm like getting ready, but we still have to have a meeting. So <laughs> we've just been like running around together all over the house. I'm gonna go finish. I'm just gonna do like a really quick get ready because it is raining outside and oh, I just hate it when it's like this. And then Jenna and I are going, or I don't know, I haven't heard from Jenna this morning. I don't know if she's still coming with me or not, but. I'm gonna go get a few things for future videos. A lot of you guys were wanting to see a fall Zara haul. So I was just gonna kinda go see what's good there. Maybe do some, like a fashion week inspired lookbook. I don't know, what do you guys think about that? I think that is something that I would enjoy making. I'm gonna go finish getting ready. I'll show you guys what I'm wearing when I head out and then I'll see you then. That's what I'm wearing today. It's kind of dark still. Um, no sun today, but I'm doing this dress. This is from Zara, I think, like a few years ago. It's like a sweatshirt, and then the material kind of changes into this really pretty pleated, almost like a built-in skirt. Then I'm doing my little crossbody bag from Urban Outfitters, my Zara boots, a slick back ponytail because of the rain, lots of living proof humidity shield, and lots of hair oil. <laughs> Let's go, gotta grab an umbrella. Bye, Ryan. Bye. Not a good weather day today. The wind is so strong, it's pouring. But you guys know I always forget my umbrella everywhere I go. And I remember today, the camera's getting wet. fall haul or a lookbook of some sort. I don't know. We'll figure it out. And then Jenna and I went to Glossier and I got some stuff for myself but then we also bought some stuff to do a giveaway for you guys. Um, I will talk about it more in the next vlog and let you know how you can enter and all of that. But um, we just thought you guys would like it so we did it. Our train's coming so see you at home. I'm home and Oh my gosh, it's raining so hard. I can't even vlog outside, but I'm gonna go, I'm gonna make some lunch, and then we have kind of a full day of work today, a couple of meetings. Yeah, I'm probably going to just go ahead and end the vlog here. Go sign up for Doobly and do the Doobly challenge. That sounds fun, I think that's what we're gonna call that, the Doobly challenge. And I will update you guys next week on how much I have saved, if I've even saved any, I'm really gonna give this a go, and then next month, I'll give you guys a specific date in the next vlog, but next month I do think we should check back and make it kind of like a competition and we're going to do a fun giveaway and stuff like that. And I'll tell you more in the next vlog what we're going to give away and all of that. But I think it's good to go ahead and start and I'll see you guys in the next vlog.